What's going down guys? How you doing? TK Pryor coming at you and I gotta hit you guys in the face with this new narrative because the mainstream thought process which I really can't get over because people keep presenting it to me. You know, I'm getting attacked by followers that basically call me a tin head because I can critically think and I don't have to fit in with your clique, your posse, your circle or your mainstream way of <clears throat> accepting things, okay? I try to be, uh, like I stated before, eclectic in my information sources and then just be smart enough to come to my own conclusions uh, based on information. So because I do that, people are attacking me uh, by names that the freaking CIA created to demonize anybody that doesn't act like everybody else. So just like the Salem witch hunt, you know, if you're different and you don't follow the group, you must be a witch. And we're going to burn you at the stake because a democracy means mob rules and the mainstream thought process is the only thing that's allowed. Otherwise, they come get you, you know, and people feel the uh, need to attack you as opposed to live and let live and let other people's thought processes be other people's thought processes. You know, if you don't agree with me, I really don't give a fuck. And I'm saying that in those words to make a, a distinct and accurate point and to clearly separate myself from the pack in terms of thought process. I don't need your approval. The best thing you can do is get off my page. <clears throat> The worst thing you can do is just scroll past my video and save yourself the trouble of following through with the program mindset of attack. Somebody else that doesn't think the way you think. So the the medium right now is that we live in Mayberry and <clears throat> that there is no... Uh, negative influence in finance that skews our system, our democracy, to the point where it benefits those at the top and is very non-beneficial for everybody else in society. The people at the bottom of the pyramid get stepped on because they're the foundational base. The people at the top live in opulence and they're justified their opulence with uh, overall man-made religion that basically says it's ordained that I stand on top of your neck and you should be proud of the fact that you have nothing you know and and that's the, the system that we live in and then all of these people walk around with their heads up their asses and then they fight against independent thinking people who say anything different as if <clears throat> they're at the top of the pyramid defending their position in this power structure when that's probably not the case in terms of their financial positioning you know but that's the way they act so the narrative is that we don't live in a uh, one party system that's controlled by the bacon cartel when so many different things have come out to prove that that's a factual reality. I mean, the writing's not on the wall. The writing has been leaked. The writing has been told by whistleblowers. People who used to work for the system are now coming out and put, basically putting it in your face and showing you that uh, the, the, the whole political system in which we live and the monetary system in which banking... Uh, fractional reserve powers is based on a influence and a uh, money <clears throat> sway. So it doesn't matter if you want to argue about... See, because <clears throat> when you talk about leadership, leadership typically means yielding to somebody who's in control. But in yielding to a leader, that doesn't mean you have to lose your ability to critically think and forget that you're an individual that is capable of making your own damn decisions. 
And that's the difference. The difference is people have no mind, they're lulled to sleep, and they walk around as if all their leaders have their best interests in mind. When the facade of democracy proves that the leaders have corporate interests in mind and anything that lines their pockets financially, which has zero to do with the bottom of the pyramid. Zero to do with anything in your best interests. And that's been proven time and time again. You have all of these factual situations right now within the political uh, sphere that are being completely exposed. And it's surprising to me, honestly, because before now, political corruption has never been exposed to the public. There are things that are common knowledge today that was released over time about President Kennedy, for an example, that nobody knew about in the public at, th at that time because it was kept hidden and you would die before they would expose that information. You'll turn up dead trying to expose that information back then, which is now common knowledge. So these corruptions in the political system have always take place. The problem and the surprise today is that it's being put out directly to the public, put directly in your face. And the public is too fucking stupid to even acknowledge what's being put out. To even acknowledge the proof in what is right in front of your face. And that's mind-boggling to me. That people have been lulled so far to sleep. And that the non-ability to critical think is so far gone that people still act as if we live in Mayberry and that the two-party system has any validity. It's a one-party system that's influenced by bankers because the aid or the old age adage is follow the money and that will answer the truth, answer the questions. So the situation is simply that we live in a plutocracy. We live in a situation where corporate interests sway the outcome of any given situation. And that's been proven a thousand times over. And you still have people arguing that fact and attacking anybody who doesn't believe that and defending the lie. <coughs> so it's amazing to me that people can be that blinded and ignore what's being presented right in front of your face. I mean, right now, there's uh, information coming out in regards to the existing political parties. Right now, there's people who, quote-unquote, are whistleblowers that are coming out in the system right now about the existing political process and the corruption going on within that process. And people just ignore it to the point where, oh, that's not true. And, and nobody does any due diligence in their homework because it's being put out, like I said, in front of your face. The information is being exposed on a continuous basis. You've got operatives within the system that are leaking information about <clears throat> what's going on and what has been commonplace in Washington, D.C. So now that it's being exposed, people just choose to ignore it. I mean, I could name a number of different things that is being talked about and exposed right now. From the day-to-day uh, -day corruption, sway of influence, um, use of influence to uh, dictate outcomes, uh, <coughs> nationwide uh, abduction, and <coughs> uh, exploitation of underage human beings, the uh, information about uh, underage actions among certain people 
I mean, the list is long. The list is long. But the point that I'm trying to make here, and the, and the reason why I'm making this video, is to say that a lot is being exposed. A lot of people are uh, whistleblowers who are ex telling you what's really going on. And a lot of other people are putting their head further in the sand and basically saying that you're a tin head if you listen to the information that somebody who works in the system exposed as a whistleblower. Now, tell me what sense that makes. Tell me how logical that is on the part of the person putting their head in the sand. So, <clears throat> I'm going to close this video with hashtag <laughs> go back to sleep because that's my new thing. Hashtag go back to sleep. And since you believe everything TV tells you, be sure to hold on to a lot of paper money because paper money is not going down in value. So make sure you have all your assets and paper. That's gonna be your blanket.